John Chow here from JohnChow.com, and welcome to another episode of Driving with John Chow. Uh, beautiful sunny day in Orange County, 78 degrees right now, headed for lunch, dot com lifestyle. Orange County is also the home for Toyota, you know, the automotive company. They have a headquarter here in Irvine, but at least not for long. And uh, it seems that in the infinite wisdom, Toyota has decided to pack up and they're moving to Texas, thanks to some tax incentive from Texas governor and presidential candidate Rick Perry. Toyota has decided that we're gonna move. Bye-bye, Southern California. Hello, the big state of Texas. Now, the employees who work for Toyota have a choice. They can pack up, move down to Texas with them, or they can try to find another job. Now, I know a few people who actually work at this Toyota headquarters, and I was talking to them a couple of days ago and asking them, so what are you guys gonna do? I mean, and they said, most likely they are gonna move. They don't like it, but they, what they, they said, what choice do we have? So they're gonna uproot their family, uh, move out of this incredible weather, and move to a state where, if depending on which way the wind's blowing, you will get hot or cold. I hear that if the wind blows in from the east, it's cold. When the wind blows in from the west, it's hot. When the wind blows in from both sides, you get a tornado. All right, so. <laughs> but that's, that's uh, what's happening. And, uh, it's, I, and I thought about that. And, you know, when, when you're looking for a place to live, you know, having a job dictate where you should live is not the situation that I would ever want to be put myself into. Like, you know, when deciding where to live, when I decided to move down here, it wasn't because of a job. I moved down here because I wanted to live here, right? I can live anywhere I want in the world. And when we were, I, was, I was searching for a whole bunch of places, I narrowed it down to two locations. Down here in Orange County or Honolulu, Hawaii. And I spent a month down here, uh, rented a, a beach house on Newport Beach, get to know the area, spent a couple weeks in Honolulu, Hawaii, and decided I like it here better. But if, if I, to be uprooted, because you know, your company that you work for decided that basically, don't, they're, not, they're not giving you any choice either. They say you either move or, or you quit. That's it. I mean, you move, we'll pay for your move. How's that? We're, we're nice people. We'll, we'll pay for your move. Yeah, there you go. We'll give you a little relocation bonus. But to uproot your family, uproot your kids who's, you know, who's been growing up here and stuff like that, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Now, that, that to me, and the fact that the majority of the employees at Toyota will be moving to Texas, that tells me that Really, they're putting their jobs ahead of their family. They're putting their job ahead of the kids. They're putting their job ahead of mostly everything. And someone, so, and I, I can't, I mean, you could say I love my job, but eh, I, well, maybe. I, I don't think the majority of the people, they actually so love the job so much that if they, they probably, they would wish for her to stay here, right? But what they're doing is, if you go down to it, why are they, working at this job and obviously the, the number one reason is money so in other words they're really putting money ahead of their family they're putting money ahead of their kids they're putting they're putting money pretty much ahead of everything but that's what they you know they, my friend asked me you know, what can you do well what can you do don't put yourself in that kind of situation that's what you can do i mean and this is the reason i do an internet business because I am, internet business is not bound by location. You can run it from anywhere in the world. And this is why I do internet marketing. I can run from here. I can run from Vancouver. I can run from behind the Great Firewall of China. And I have done that. So, and the great thing about this is you don't have to quit your job to do internet marketing. This is a business that you can start part time you know, and in your spare time after work, uh, during your coffee break, whatever, you can start a part-time, 
and if you are consistent and you work smart at it, it can not only replace your job income, but it can make you more money than you ever dream possible. So if you're working for Toyota and you have an internet business that makes you more than what you make at Toyota, they decide to move, you could just tell them to screw you. I'm not going to Texas. Okay. So if you're, if you're working a job right now and if your job is like your main source of income, like if you lose it, you'll be in big, 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 big trouble, then you really need to diversify, you know? The way they say diversification is the key. Don't put all your eggs in one basket, because if you put all your eggs in one basket, you are, you are in a very precarious position. Like Toyota's got these employees by the balls, pretty much, literally. I mean, they know that most of them has got to move because if they don't move, they're not gonna, they, they're gonna have to find another job and they may not get as good a job as they were before. And you know, there'll be periods with no pay, that kind of stuff. So they know. They're gonna, they, they know that, oh, we're gonna move to Texas and you're coming, too bad. Uproot your kids, whatever. Don't allow yourself to get into that kind of situation, all right? So uh, if, if you're in that kind of situation right now, you know, then you seriously, you need to download my ebook and learn the three internet marketing models I use to make money online. And it will, it will allow, you to make, allow you to make a lot of money live the dot com lifestyle so and it's another thing too you know working hours are the best hours of the day and yet most people spend the best hours of the day working i mean look at the sun you could be at the beach right now going, going for lunch in my case but most people spend the nine to five which is the best hours of the day as far as i'm concerned because the sun is out you don't want to do this at night time best hours of the day but most people spend it working to make a living, you know. Stop working to live. Actually, or is that live to work, work to live? I don't know, one of those things. <laughs> but I don't even bother with it because uh, I live the dot-com lifestyle. And that's what you need to do. This is John Shell from johnshell.com. Thank you for listening. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys on the next episode. And what great timing. Just pulling up right now to the parking spot.